All right, I have an idler arm off of a 1957 Chevy, <clears throat> and I thought I would film this because this was not very apparent. Luckily, I found another video online that uh, hinted about it. So to remove or install the idler arm off of the pitman arm, there's a plug right at the end here that unscrews. And what that does is that allows this spring and plate to come backwards and if you take this, you have to take it all the way out to install or remove the idler arm. Take it out, then you can slide these over so that your ball that's on the end of the pitman arm can fit in this hole. And then you slide the whole idler arm over so the ball goes into this little socket here. Push this up against it, screw that in, and then this hole here is for a cotter pin. I'll try and take a video of it under the car. Here's a video of the idler arm with the tie rods installed. Here's the piece I was pulling out earlier. Now that will be uh, greased when we're all done. Right now I don't have any grease put in it. All right, this is the passenger side of the car. I've just installed the idler arm on the, or the drag link on the idler arm. At this location, you can see on the other end, the pitman arm with the ball sitting there. The other end of the, uh, I've been calling it an idler arm. I think it's actually the drag link. It's going to sit on top of it. All right. Well, film trying to put the uh, drag link down on the pitman arm ball. There is a little felt washer right here that... I believe this is where it goes to help hold up the dust cover. The hole in it is smaller than the ball, so you just kind of have to wiggle it down over. Then the dust cover goes on it. The long side of the dust cover painting out, pointing towards the uh, outside of the car, towards the driver's side. Then in the bottom here, this little cup has a notch in it. I want to make sure that that's pointed down so when it sits on the ball, it uh, drops all the way down. We'll pick it up, get up over that ball. Just drops right down on there. And then to get it to lock in, you pull it, in this case, towards the driver's side of the door. It goes from that big hole to that small hole. Now that ball is locked in there. So, got a second cup on this side. All the parts appear to be identical. And so, I'm going to put it in with that little notch, if you can see that, pointed down. Just line it up. And we'll just slide right back in there. And then the spring, the little piston, or that slides in. Then I've got the plug that threads in. And then once it's threaded in, you've got a little cotter pin that slides in that groove. That's how it goes together. All right, use a, I used a great big flathead screwdriver. I seated that plug all the way down and backed it out about a quarter of a turn until the threads lined up with the holes here. Got a cotter pin. Cotter pin will drop right down that groove. There you should drop. There we go. Bend those back, and we're done.